everyone, welcome back to the Integrity Botanicals YouTube channel. Like I said last week, I want to focus more on these concise product reviews of things that I've been loving so I could give you a mini review of them as well as demonstrate how I like to use them or show you just show you how to use them in case that they're a difficult product for you. So this week I'm going to be featuring the Maya Chia Highlight of the Day Illuminating Serums. I have been so crazy about these, I cannot even tell you. Both the colors are beautiful. They have a really natural finish to the skin, so they're great for everyday use. And not only that, but they're suspended in these amazing, rich botanicals that make it not only a beautiful product, but also a treat for the skin. So I really, really enjoy that. So almost every single ingredient within these is organic or wild crafted. We love that. These retail for $42 a piece. So yes, it is expensive, but you're, you are getting 15 milliliters worth of product and you do only need three drops maximum to cover the entirety of the face and get a really beautiful, youthful glow. So the ingredients list is also super short. Another plus side for a lot of us, especially for you purists out there, the ingredients are gorgeous. So they do have the super critical chia oil which is a special ingredient that Maya Chia uses in um, almost all of their products or every product if I'm not mistaken. Similar to the Gressa, they do also have the broccoli seed oil which I think is a really great um, thing for the pigment to be suspended in. I have really good luck with the Gressa products and these as well. They have calendula extract, rosemary leaf extract, titanium dioxide, and a 2% essential oil blend and that is it. They're gorgeous. So let's get into the shades. There are only two, but I do think both of these shades, you could find at least one that would work for you on almost every single skin tone. So my one complaint about the about the packaging of these products, let me quickly start there, is that, so they're 15 milliliters, like I said. Love that they are this twist off applicator that has the dropper, that's great. The only thing is if you have both colors, the name of the shade is not on there. Luckily, they are different enough that you could just unscrew it and see, but if you wanted to make yourself a little label, stick it on the bottom there. I suggest you do that because the name is only on the box. Just something to be mindful of. Like I said though, there are two shades. The first one, this one is very similar to the Gressa. Again, I like to shake these up. The first shade is the Happy Hour, and the Happy Hour is a cool toned pink radiance. It's very opalescent. It's super, super beautiful on a fair skin. You can wear it definitely up to my skin tone, but I tend to gravitate towards warm makeup look. So this one I don't reach for as much, but if I'm doing a, a pink blush, it looks so amazing. I can't get over it. And next up is the Golden Hour, which is definitely my highlight of choice between the two. This is a more warm golden champagne shade. The tone is just perfect, melts into the skin beautifully. Both of them have great pigment. Both of them are very wearable shades. And I'm gonna show you how I'd like to apply them right now. So like I said, I like to shake them up. I find that these need a little bit less shaking than the Gressa. It might just be because there is more pigment within them. I'm not exactly sure but I do like to shake them up regardless. Then I'll take the little dropper, put a couple of dots on the back of my hand. Really, that's it, it's like three drops. And I just like to blend it in a little bit. I don't know why I really like to warm it up and work it up. And I always start with the cheeks. So you can apply highlight in quite a few places. I do think I did a video going more in depth about the placement of it, so I will link that down below if I did. If not, I'm gonna briefly go over it today. You can take whatever finger you like. I'm just taking my index finger at the moment and I'm just softly going to apply this. Now I typically like to do bronzer highlight then blush to make everything blend seamlessly, but with these you don't really have to be too precious about the order in which you apply them because they are just so beautiful. And now I love that they're an oil because I feel like they really sink into the skin, but in a way where they don't disappear. Um, it sits on the skin gorgeous, so I don't know if you guys are seeing that, but it's a very natural yet authentic glow and I love it for an everyday basis. So basically you can really build it up if you like a more strong highlight like I do or if you want a natural highlight, this is ideal for you because of the fact that it's a cream makes it uh, a liquid makes it really look like it's your skin. So you'll see I also took a little bit down the bridge of the nose and I also did a little bit on the bow of my lip that makes the lips look fuller and just brings a little bit of attention to the center of the face. If you want the nose to look slimmer, which I have quite a slim nose so I don't often do that, 
that, go ahead and just put the highlighter right here on the bridge and then just a dot on the ball of your nose and it will give that slightly slim effect, especially if paired with a contour. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this to this cheek as well. They blend, like guys, it's, it's this easy, like this is the amount of time it's taking me in real time to apply these and I like to almost like put a little bit on the apple of my cheek on top of the blush because I love to glow and if you really want to go there you could always take a little bit on the brow that never goes amiss or if you're super dry take a little bit on the forehead and even a tiny bit on the chin but if you're oily I would avoid that all right you guys so that is it that is my other quick raw concise review and demo of the Maya Chia highlight of the day highly 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 recommend these products i cannot get enough of them and you can see that really natural finish they have to the cheek that is just so so gorgeous and wearable but if you guys want to shop these products right here right now every single link as well as the price point and ingredients list is going to be in the description box down below don't forget to read the entire subscription box because it does also have what nail polish i'm wearing if you guys want me to start including lip color and makeup i'm wearing i could do that as well so do let me know but it also has our social media there so i would love for you guys to keep up with us we post exclusives and we are everywhere so you guys have somewhere to follow us um and don't forget to get, subscribe to this channel and give the video a big thumbs up because i upload new videos here every single monday and friday and i don't want you guys to miss it if you have any products that you would like me to review next do leave me a comment in that description box down below i would love to hear it and if you like these products let me know that as well but thank you guys so much for watching like i mentioned and i will catch you in the next video bye